Will these shoes be good for running? What is up everybody? Nick and Matt here with Swap to bring you another shoe review. Today we're here to take a look at the new Nike Zoom Double Stacked, but before we hop into the shoe, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already. Smash the like button for us guys, it really does help out the channel. And we also wanted to let you know that we are writing a blog along with every video we put out on the channel that we're going to keep updated with all the newest information. So if you want to check out our blog on this pair of shoes, the link is in the description below. And that's enough with all that guys, let's hop right into the shoe. All right guys, so as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, this is the Nike Zoom Double Stack. And starting with the outsole, you have this kind of like icy blue clear outsole and it's like ribbed all the way along. Right here you can see the two Zoom pockets on the forefoot. Is that the forefoot? Yeah. I'm so f***ing smart. Midfoot, forefoot. I'm so smart. Oh, it says forefoot on the thing. Deadass. It's a forefoot. Yeah, you have your two air bubbles right here in the front. Uh, it's not one big pocket, it's two individual zoom pockets. And then in the back, you have that's where you have the double stack. And then, like, right here, it's kind of hollow, so you can, like, put your finger through it, like that. You see, mm -hmm. I'm hooking it, yeah, that's it's, why it's that's hollow. Why they need that. Yeah, uh -huh. for, for you to carry them after your race, maybe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you have this the Nike swoosh on the, on the bottom, and it's hard, like, you hear that? Hard plastic. And then you have air zoom right here. Moving up to the midsole, you're just gonna see the double stack and the zoom in the front. It's all exposed. And then moving up to the entire upper of the shoe is gonna be like this see-through mesh. Super breathable. Uh, and then like this kind of like sketched out Nike swoosh right here. You, it's kind of hard to tell it's even there. I didn't notice it at first. So it's that whole thing like again with the see-through. You can just see right through it. Uh, and then moving up the tongue, it's going to be the same material tongue, except for when you get to the tip, it's going to be like plastic coating or leather or something. But yeah, all in all, it's a cool, interesting looking shoe. Something that's pretty dope to have and like see it firsthand. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, what are your thoughts on the shoe? Yeah, I, I feel like definitely this shoe is going to sell more because of the design elements that it features. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna sell so much, I don't feel like, as a running shoe yet. I feel like it might have a ways to go and it's just kinda, it feels like too much right off the bat for a running shoe. So yeah, I feel like I feel like definitely a lot of the sales are gonna come from just how dramatic this design is. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was comparing these to my Nike Pegasus 37s. I was trying to find info online as far as like the stack height and drop height goes on the shoe and I couldn't find anything, but it's definitely uh, like a really high stack height on this pair. It's probably something like 40 millimeters at least in the heel and probably close to 30 in the uh, forefoot. So the drop on the shoe is pretty standard. It's probably about 10 to 12 millimeters, but the stack height is insanely high. Um, and yeah, I don't know how these will feel while you're running. Mm -hmm. For me, as I said in our uh, Nike Zoom Pegasus 37 review, I'm a heel striker when I run. And like Nick is pointing out, the, the back part of the heel on the shoe is just a hard plastic. And I'm feeling like if you're landing on your heel, there's not really a lot of cushion there until you start to roll over uh, more onto your midfoot and your forefoot. So I'm not 100% sure. I'll do a little bit more research before I edit the video together to see if I can throw anything in this video to help you guys out with statistics and things like that. Uh, but it's a cool shoe. Again, the design of the shoe is really cool. I mean, they're obviously cool to look at, but from a running standpoint, I'm not 100% sold on it as a running shoe as of yet. Mm. I'm not a runner, so I can't really comment on it. Mm -hmm. I can just say what it looks like, and it looks like it'd be fun to run in. So at least for me, because I'm 5'8", mm -hmm. so this will give me a few inches. Right. You can look taller. I can look taller. You're... Yeah. Which is cool. No, fully. That's definitely a major plus. That's like the main, main thing. Yeah. Yeah. One thing... I am upset about is I didn't know that this was a woman's shoe. Mm -hmm. Matt didn't feel like telling me uh, when I went for him on sneakers app. I don't think I knew either though. Oh. Initially. You would have told me? I would have told you, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So I got a nine women's. We were planning on doing an on foot. Mm-hmm. Um, tried squeezing into it. Can't. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. It would. I think it would look dope on foot with some certain, you know, like workout outfits or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, out of 10, Matt, what do you give these? Yeah, mm-hmm. out of 10, I mean, I'm a big fan of the way the shoe looks. Um, it is fairly light, too, considering everything that's kind of in the shoe. Mm-hmm. Uh, from a running standpoint, I'm not 100% sold. Like Nick is saying, I wish we were able to try it on and run around in it or, you know, just do a little bit. Uh, but purely kind of just based on the design of the shoe and how it's sort of cutting edge new technology from Nike, uh, I'm going to give this like a 7.4 out of 10. Okay. I think this is, is a cool shoe for sure. I like the Volt colorway more than this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool it's a cool shoe for sure, I think. Yeah, seven. What did you give it? Seven point what? Four. Seven point four. I said it's not a bad number. I'm gonna be like right around it. I'm probably gonna give it an eight mm-hmm. because I'm not a runner, but I could picture it right now, like just going to uh, like Whole Foods to go grocery shopping mm-hmm. or something. Oh, like that's more of a lifestyle. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. Put my work. sweatpants, hoodie. Yeah. Throw these on, look a little taller. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna be right at an eight mm-hmm. with these. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching our video on the Nike Zoom Double Stack. We appreciate every single one of you. And if you're on Instagram and Twitter, make sure you give us a follow at Swapsco. The links are in the description below. Yep, and as always, guys, please also remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already. Smash the like button for us, guys, if you enjoyed the video. It really does help out the channel. And let us know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this pair of shoes. Let us know if you run in them. Let us know your thoughts in general on anything to do with this pair of shoes. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.